Okay, so this video will introduce uh, how to troubleshoot topographic survey errors and determine status of topographic surveys on CHAMP monitoring. So the first thing we want to do is log in. The status of topographic surveys going through the engines available on CHAMP monitoring are available only at the programmatic level, not for within watersheds. So once you log in, there should be a, a tab called the Reports tab. And from the Reports tab, we can go to what's called the Metric Engine Status uh, tab. And that's going to redirect us to a page that has the status of all of the engines that run on CHAMP monitoring. And now this can be a little bit overwhelming in there. Um, so we'll try to point you in the right direction for getting the information about your individual visits. So the first thing to know is that the topographic surveys first go through the RBT orthogonal engine. So we can navigate to the orthogonal tab and notice that we're only going to be looking at 2015 um, surveys at this time. So uh, this does mean that we might not know exactly what's going on whenever we go to this tab because the orthogonal engine is going to align all visits to an individual site across all years. But this will give us a, a first glimpse at where the topo survey might be in the process. Once the table loads, um, here we'll have all watersheds that are, are available and you can start to filter this down to make it a little bit easier for yourself. So here's the minum and filter by an individual site uh, by the organization. Um, or the visit ID over here. Those are usually the key ones that I tend to use. And if we scroll over to the right, there's a status column, a last requested column. The status column will tell you whether the survey has uh, made it successfully through the orthogonal engine or if there's been an error. So we have one site that has an error and the rest of these visits uh, have gone through successfully, which is great. It also tells you the last requested date, and this is the last time that engine was called. So let's say um, uh, I downloaded this survey, this first one here yesterday on 11.23, and then I can see that even though I'm checking on 1124, it still hasn't gone through the engine at this stage. So my repairs might not be reflected in this error yet. So um, I'd want to wait until this last requested date was after uh, the time of the upload of the survey with the repairs. So continuing on in the process, we're going to hold off on this error one for right now. Um, and we're going to go look at two of these survey. Let's, let's say 2892 and 2898 and see if they've made it through RBT, which is the metric engine. So we can scroll over to the other tab that's for the RBT metric engine. And once this page is loaded, uh, we will filter it down again to the minum, and now this time we're going to look for 2892 and 2898. So here's 2892, and this page is set up very similarly to the RBT orthogonal page, where if you scroll to the right, you will see a status and a last request date. So in this case, 2892, it made it through the orthogonal engine, but it is failing um, on the RBT metric engine. So if this says processing error here, we will not see any metrics that are available in the metric table. Um, and we'll continue with the error checking for this survey in a few minutes. Let's also look at 2898, which is the other one, and this one, looks like the status is completed successfully. So this one, there should be metrics that are showing up um, in the metric table. 
and we also have the last requested date here. So you can use these status and last requested dates to follow up on repairs to a survey that you might have made if you're still not seeing um, metrics. Okay, so the RBT orthogonal engine and the RBT metric engine are only two of the tabs we've looked at so far. Uh, there are other engines that are running on CHAMP monitoring, but uh, at this stage, they're not usually needed for uh, troubleshooting surveys through uh, RBT. So we're going to stick with these two tabs for now, and now we're going to go look up some of the errors that the individual surveys might have. So when this says processing error here, it means that that survey is not getting through the uh, engine for a particular reason. Um, in some cases, you might have some messages over here in the message column that will list out uh, all of your total station warning messages as well as validation messages that, are, that might be coming from the toolbar. Uh, but there's actually an easier way to look at these and those are located in the engine error tab. Now this table takes a while to load, so you really do need to be patient. There's over 200,000 records in this table normally. Um, this view provides error messages for all surveys for 2011 through 2015 um, for all watersheds, and it includes both errors and non-error messages like warnings and just informational um, messages that come across as surveys are run through the different engines. So it's a pretty large table. Uh, you do need to be patient, but eventually it will load. All right, so the big table has finally loaded. Uh, that took almost 10 minutes. So. If you are having trouble with your internet connection and viewing this table in a reasonable amount of time, I will be continuing to shuffle out individual organization errors by Excel, and that's the same information that's listed in this table here. So we will try to help manage uh, these errors, but you are welcome to go and look up any engineers that you would like for any of your surveys in the meantime. Um, so once again, now that we're on this page, we can filter by our watershed, the Minum. Um, and note that there are over 200,000 records, but this will get it down to uh, a smaller number and easier to navigate within the individual table. We still have all of our metadata available, um, the organization, the protocol, the visit phase, sampling date. And now whenever we look at the engine status and request dates, we actually have multiple engines that are listed here. So here's one for the hydraulic model. Here's the RBT orthogonal. And uh, if we scroll down some more, I'm sure there will be some messages for the RBT engine as well. So here's the RBT metric engine. Um, we're going to zoom in one more level and we're going to go back to one of our trial um, visits that we were looking at before. Oops, two, if I can type it in, 2898. And now this is just showing the error messages, I'm sorry, all messages for 2898. So here we can see that 2898 has gone through RBT orthogonal. The engine status, which is the status for the visit, is completed successfully. And each one of these lines is an individual message. Um, the message severity is indicating whether it's an error or not. So here we have a lot of information that's coming off. Um, this is useful for the programmers, but not necessarily as useful for crews that are troubleshooting data. So uh, there is a lot of records we don't need to care about so much. Um, for us in particular, we were looking to see if there were any errors. 
And actually, it looks like for 2898, this was our visit that only had warning messages. Um, so we can review those warnings, and I can filter it down to just warning in the message severity. And this is actually a quick way to review all of the um, total station instrument warnings as well. So if you're trying to do an overview of your crew's uh, surveying, number of back sites, number of points collected, um, this is a quick way to pull together all of that information for all visits at the same time and give an overview of your crew. So there was one other survey that did have errors that we looked at. Let's go take a look at that one. That was 2892. And I'm going to remove my message severity filter. So in this case, the, uh, the RB2 orthogonal engine is still completed successfully, which is what was listed on the other page. But now in the RBT engine, we have a list of processing errors. Um, now, some of these messages that are coming off, they're still informational. So I'm actually going to filter these by the errors, which should pull up um, all of the hard errors that are preventing this survey from going through the RBT engine. And now if we look at the description of those, it gives us a better idea of what might be happening with the actual survey. So in this case, the thaw leg passes outside the water extent polygon at one or more locations. So this one is a crew uh, or a survey related issue potentially, and I would recommend going to open the survey geo database, review the water extent polygon, and see if this is a valid uh, geometry of the site or whether this is a processing error that should be resolved and resubmitted to CHAMP monitoring. So um, if you do make repairs on surveys and you would like to review them on CHAMP monitoring and see if they were successful, as a quick recap, you can use the RBT orthogonal and the RBT pages to check the overall status of an individual visit. And then if you find an, that one of these engines has not been successful, then you can go to the engine error page for a full uh, inventory of all messages, including the errors for those surveys that failed. And then you can read all of the available error messages and uh, determine whether those are ones that are resolvable by the crew. Um, one other thing to note with this table is that it does have all messages across all years. So if you're trying to do a broad overview of your entire watershed, like mine, I'm not targeting a specific, specific visit, um, please check with us before you start to do repairs on older surveys. Um, the older surveys, the repairs can get more and more complicated as we go back in time because of changes to the validations that have been made in the toolbar. And uh, we're happy to have the help in reviewing those, but it does get to be more complicated and can be more iterative if you're not sure of what you're looking for. So at this stage, we recommend sticking with the 2015 surveys. Uh, contact us if, if you'd like to start working on some of the errors that you're seeing for previous years and we can help um, best direct your efforts.